Hey guys, so it has been a while since I have last made a video, so today I'm going to be trying to catch up on everything that I've missed so far. So, first thing is book reviews. I've been meaning to use for a while now. First one is Joss Sterling's uh, Finding Sky. This is about a girl called Sky who moves to America from England, and she's she's got these kind of secret power kind of things, like she can see auras and stuff like that, and she's she's been trying to hide it for years and ignore it and stuff. But uh, she meets this guy who it turns out has similar kind of powers, as it were, called Zed in her school. And they're kind of like two halves of a whole kind of power-wise, so you know she has half the powers, he has half the powers, so you know together they're you know amazing, as these things go. And uh, <coughs> yeah, then there's this secret plot kind of thing to kill all of you know, all of his family and stuff like that, because they put evil people in jail by using all their family's powers to find people and stuff. And um, yeah, it's it's really good. So um, <coughs> it's kind of you know. There's adventure and there's a love story and you know it's just generally a good book. Plus the cover is really really nice. I like it. Uh, next one is Divergent by Veronica Roth. This one is pretty famous around at the moment. It's, it's like the next big thing. I, well, at least that's what I've heard anyway. It's a really good book. It's about this girl who's called Tris. I knew her name for a minute there. And um, she's in this. It's a dystopian style novel, by the way. And um, she's in this world where her city's divided into different kind of, we'll call them cliques, but they're called factions. And um, once you reach the age of 16, you can join uh, whichever one you like, pretty much. Like, you can change from the one that you're born into. And she decides to go into the Dauntless group, which is for brave, slash stupid, people, who, um, they, they're they really, really idiotic. They jump out of moving trains and off skyscrapers and stuff like that. They're really stupid people. <laughs> but, um, yeah, then there's a secret plot from one of the other factions to overthrow government and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, it's just a really, really, really good book. And a lot of it's based on the initiation period where, um, you know, yeah, you've chosen your, your faction to live in, but you're not necessarily guaranteed entry into it. And you have to go through all these vigorous tests, physical tests, and mental tests, and stuff like that. So a lot of it is based around that kind of time. But it's really, really, really good. I definitely recommend it. Just to warn you, though, if you find this book in a bookstore, and you read the back of the book, to be honest, the back of the book sounds kind of crap. I ordered this uh, from a bookstore after hearing a review about it. I thought it sounded great, then I got it home, read the back and thought, do I really want to read this? But it is a really, really good book. I cannot wait until the next one comes out, which I think is in May. But yeah, that's that one. Ugh. Sorry if the camera's wobbling, by the way. It's on a stack of boxes on my bed. Uh, next is Sophie Kinsel's I've Got Your Number. I love her books. She is brilliant. Like, her standalone books are the best ones. Her Shopholic series. I didn't really like myself, but, you know, people seem to like it, but her standalone ones are really, really good. And this is her newest one. And it's about this girl called Poppy, who loses her engagement ring and her mobile phone at a party. She's more worried about the engagement ring, though, because it's an heirloom with the family that she's marrying into. And she goes to try and find it. She doesn't find it at the hotel, but she does pick up someone else's mobile phone, so she uses that as the number the hotel can contact her on. Turns out, the owner of the phone wants it back, as one would. And, um, she ends up having to, like, she wants to keep the number so the hotel can phone her, but he needs the phone for business reasons, because it's a business phone. So she has to forward all of, like, the emails and things like that that come into him, and, of course, she reads them along the way, and she, and she kind of texts him with little, um, little kind of added information that she's picking up from people who really shouldn't, you know, she really shouldn't be. But, uh... It's very, very funny. She's the kind of author who, she she makes you almost roll around the floor laughing in a literal sense. It is so funny. She, she It's just brilliant. But yeah. Currently, what I'm reading is A Wild Sheep Chase by Haruki Murakami. I love all of his books. And I think this one would be a really good one for people who are just starting out with his books. Because his books are really, really dense and kind of, you know, you really have to be really into it and read it with a lot of concentration, but this one is kind of divided up into really small chapters, like a chapter could only be two or three pages long, so, you know, it's a lot easier to get your head around, rather than some of his other ones, which are really, really, they're just awkward to read sometimes. They're very, very good, though, and 
his his books are so odd. He's literally on about chasing sheep. Like it's it's, it's just weird. <laughs> It's it's just really, really weird. You'd have to read it to know what I mean, but it's very, very weird. The other one I'm reading right now is Shelter by uh, Harlan Coben. My brother bought this. Uh, not bought it. He got it out of the library for me. And it's really, really good. I wasn't, it's not the kind of book I would have picked up myself, but it's, I am actually really enjoying it. Also, I was in Dublin recently, and I picked up two books. One of them, which was The Wild Sheep Chase, and the other is The Sky is Everywhere. It's a, a weird kind of girly romantic -y book, and yeah, I think it sounds good, but, you know, I know a lot of people probably wouldn't like it, but if you want to review it, let me know, I will do one. Yeah, but I was in Dublin for a nerdfighter meetup, and it was so much fun, you guys have no idea. Like, I'm a very socially awkward kind of person, and these people, a lot of them are probably quite socially awkward too, but when you get a lot of socially awkward people together, you get some really socially outgoing people. <laughs> it's very unusual. But um, some of the conversations we had were really, really weird. But um, I liked the people a lot. They were really kind and friendly. Like, if someone noticed that you weren't talking, they'd kind of move out of their little group that they were chatting in, and they'd come and plonk themselves down. We were talking about books. What were you talking about? What do you like in books and stuff? And they, there's always something to talk about. And some of them had really cool, like, anime-based bags and stuff, which were awesome, by the way. One had a Death Note one. Oh my god, I want that bag so badly. Anyway, slight. Oh, slightly off the point there. But, um, yeah, I'm going to insert a little picture here. And um, that was the majority of the people there. There was more than that. And that was a very big meetup, considering. Uh, there was over 40 people in total, I think it was. And um, that's pretty good going. But, yeah, we also found that one of the guys who was there actually lives relatively near me and my friend who I dragged with me. So we'll probably end up meeting up with him at some point as well, which is really cool. We didn't think there was anyone near us that, you know, actually liked these kind of stuff. So it's really nice. And, yeah, there's also some videos made from other people who were at the event. And they... actually took footage of the event. Well, I didn't. I didn't even take pictures at the event. I'm stealing this picture off Zach. Thanks, Zach. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so go check those out. I'll link them down below if you want to see what we actually did. There was some really weird games and conversations recorded that you just, uh, you just look at them and you think, what? <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> they're really, really fun, though. And I think the last topic is athletics. So I'm back doing athletics training again, which I know a lot of people don't like sports, so, you know, you can just skip this part. But, uh, it's been a while. I have a competition at the end of the month, and I also have a little, kind of, a pre-competition competition today, which we did this as well last year, and, um, I came first in my, my race. It was a 100 meter sprint race, and no one else showed up, so I got to run it and get my medal, which was lovely. <laughs> I have it on my notice board back there. I don't know if you can see that. I think you actually can. Haha, <laughs> nice. Anyway. But uh, it's up on the notice board anyway. And yeah, this year there's actually going to be a lot more people at it because last year we kind of we set it up really, really quickly. Oh, my phone. It's odd. Anyway, um, yeah, we set it up really quickly last year. So it was only my college and another local college who we kind of congregate for everything. So it was just us that last year. This year there's hopefully going to be two other colleges, maybe even three coming along. So might be a little bit bigger, and I might actually have someone to compete against, which would be lovely. So, yeah, I think that is pretty much it. I better go get ready for my competition, which is... No, it's not too bad. I have plenty of time, actually, now that I think about it. But, yeah, that is pretty much it. I will see you again soon. Bye!